Here in Korea, major online platform services Naver and Kakao saw a sharp fall in their stock prices today after the financial authorities announced that they would not be allowed to use their influence to sell financial products. And lawmakers are considering more regulations, considering their quasi-monopolistic market positions. Jang Taehyun reports. The stock prices of internet and social platform giants Naver and Kakao plunged on Wednesday after South Korean financial authorities placed new regulations on online platforms and lawmakers discussed their concerns over Naver and Kakao's market dominance. Ruling Democratic Party chief Song Young Gil at a forum hosted by lawmakers on Tuesday said Kakao should not follow the path of the Chaebol, South Korea's massive conglomerates, and ignore fair competition. Other lawmakers at the forum added that they're concerned about moves by Kakao, which could abuse its position and attempt to raise service prices. The remarks raised fears that lawmakers could push additional policies to rein in the tech firm's influence. From a business perspective, it can be because of monopoly. And in terms of tax, it's collected based on the district subject to the jurisdiction. But that's not the case for e-commerce, and they're not properly paying tax. South Korea's leading social platform service, Kakao, plunged more than 10 percent, its biggest decline since 2012. Naver, which also hosts messaging platform Line, dropped by 8 percent. And from September 25th, Naver Financial and Kakao Pay can no longer compare or recommend financial instruments, including funds, to their users. They can't sell credit cards or insurance either. This comes after Financial Services Commission and Financial Supervisory Service at a meeting on Tuesday said offering information of a financial product to sell it is not an advertisement, but rather intermediation. If those companies want to continue selling financial items, they'll have to register as an authorized distributor or agent. Chang Taehyun, Arirang News.